With its short wheelbase and an impressive 450 pound-feet of torque, the Viper can feel twitchy when exiting low-speed corners if you're not smooth on the throttle. But its handling in general is fantastic and has the most direct race car-like feel of the bunch. With 0.96G of lateral grip, just a touch of understeer in a steady state condition, and virtually no body roll. With a 0-60 to 60 time of 4.8 seconds, the Viper's straight-line performance so overpowers the senses that its excellent handling can be overlooked. Whisked from car show sweetheart to production vehicle in just three years, the Viper has put Chrysler back on the supercar map in bold block lettering. The approach is brute force rather than finesse, as the Viper is really a car built around its engine, a thundering 400 horsepower 8 liter pushrod V10. Pampering its driver is not part of the equation. The Viper has side curtains instead of roll up windows, a rudimentary fabric top, and just the basic controls and gauges. By far the largest production car engine sold in the U.S. today, the Viper's 8-liter all-aluminum V10 shares the architecture of Chrysler's small block 360 cubic inch V8, but with two more cylinders grafted on. Its exhaust exits through side pipes incorporated into the rocker panels. The Viper's construction follows race car practice with a square section tubular steel frame, tubular double wishbone suspension with coilover shocks and plastic bodywork. Although claimed by some to be Chrysler's first true two-seat sports car, the Viper is based on the history of sports car designs dating back over 40 years. The first of these was the 1952 Chrysler Hemi-powered Cunningham C2R sports racer, which despite its limited production run, has been cited as the grandfather of the Viper. Perhaps the greatest inspiration came from the legendary Shelby Cobra of the 60s, whose success was based on a formula developed by its creator, Carroll Shelby. He took British-built AC Roadsters and bolted in massive 289 and 427 cubic inch V8s. In 1991, only two years after starting development, Carroll Shelby drove the Viper as the official pace car of the Indy 500. One year later, the Viper was rolling off the production line and into the eager hands of enthusiasts. 